All right, let's try day 187. Uh, yeah. Decently late start today. It's like 6.20. Not even fully packed up yet. Uh, my alarm wood did go off at the right time. I just turned it off. Instead for another an hour. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, thing to do today, I have to get the, the rest of this hill done. Uh, Bob is going to meet me uh, this morning. He was nice enough to take home my uh, battery packs and charge them. So, but I don't know if well, I still need to go to the store. So, well, I have to, I have to confer confer with him what I'm actually going to do today. Might be short, might be long. Who knows? Got to get up moving, or not? Who knows? I think it might. I got up this morning and wanted to take the day off. <laughs> so that might be what I do after I get to the the highway, which is in like four miles. Well, three and a half, pretty much. So, yeah. Who knows? I'll have to ask him. So, yeah. But it's a nice, beautiful day. And it's supposed to rain today. So well, maybe I can avoid that as well. All right, later. All right, three or so miles left to the campground, and the trail's actually improved a little bit. I think I just actually somewhat maintained ATV track, <laughs> or at least people actually drive on it. So, yeah. Hopefully it's easier from now on. Anyways. Just to continue going uphill. Eventually, that'll probably happen. It is always easier to do these uphills in the morning. I should remember that. Yeah. So, glad I'm doing this now. All right, later. All right. Made the Oak Creek camp here. I think there's water here. It's time for to sit down for a bit. Yeah, this is where I was planning to get to uh, yesterday, but the bob going down tells me out. I'm gonna do it today. But I'm just gonna find the water. It's here somewhere. Probably is. Yeah, this would have been a nice spot to stay last night, but that's okay. The water's right there. All right, later. All right, made it to Highway 12, and I follow this uphill more, of course, for about four more miles. And that's when I'm supposed to turn right again, keep on going west. But I'm supposed to meet uh, Bob when uh, I mean, reach the end of this part of the well, in four miles, anyways. Yeah. Or whenever he drives up from down that way. So that's where he lives. And apparently, this is where he's closest to the trail. I don't feel as bad as uh, I did because he was driving like 100 miles both ways just to help me out. So, yeah. Looks like the rain is coming though. So, yeah. That'll be fun. All right, later. As I go over, now we're Cal, Cal Guard. All right, later. All right, end of day 187. Uh, cut short because, uh, well, it started raining, and then uh, uh, luckily a, a passing trail angel asked me what the hell I was doing up there in the rain. <laughs> and he eventually offered me a, a place in his place to stay. So, yeah, cut short. 
uh, today, um, multiple reasons. One, I was tired. Two, I needed more food anyways for, uh, to get the Circleville, which is like three nights away, three nights and four days away. Um, yeah, so just, uh, it helped out. He took me to the store and home and we just had pizza. It was great. So, yeah. Today pretty much ended up being a uh, zero a day, uh, only six miles done, but I needed it, and so uh, I'm happy to keep on going tomorrow. Uh, Enough full day, and it, it started raining pretty hard today, all day today. So it's like, yeah, the rainstorms have lasted pretty much, but it's supposed to clear up for tomorrow morning and then rain again in the afternoon, but that's normal, and so yeah. Today it was an actual system coming through. Yeah. So. <sighs> I slept for a good part of the day. I'll sleep for some more. And I'll start probably around 7.30 tomorrow. Because he's going to drive me up at 7. So it's going to be great. That sets me up good for the rest of the, um, Utah. You know, I was feeling worn down. And so. Having a good three quarters of a day off helps. So, other than that, I'll see you guys later. All right, start of day 188. I think that's a better view of me. Um, just got dropped off by the train angel, and it's around 7:30. It's a, a decent start for for sleeping in the bed, pretty much, and uh, yeah. So that was a good 22 hour break I just took. <laughs> yeah. I think I needed it. Uh, I was able to restock, refuel, had pizza last night. So, so all the good stuff. Um, and I got a few more miles left on this main road. Then I turn right back into a, a dirt track that follows along the ridge line. So, yeah. And I follow that for a good 50 or so miles until I get a small town of Antimony, then to go around on a detour after that to Circleville. No, it's to Circleville first, then a detour to Beaver. And Beaver's my next planned uh, stop. There's some cheap motels there. So, yeah. That's a good, uh, oh, maybe 110 so miles from here. But there's, but I can restock it. That's money if I had to, but, and uh, Circleville has a couple stores too, so. Yeah. Next 100 or so miles, be pretty simple. Then after that, there's another 100, 110 or so miles to the state line, so I got about. 230 left for Utah. So that's something I should be able to do. In uh, 10 or so days. So that's that's the goal from here. As I keep on moving along. What's nice about this is the uh, next 100 or so miles is in a uh, in the mountains so don't have to worry about it getting too hot and uh, after that hopefully I'm into into fall so or fallish uh, weather so I don't have to really worry about too much of the heat in the, the, de the desert so worked out fine as I keep on moving along. All right, later. All right, made off the main road for a bit. And keep on moving up, at least for the next mile and a half or so. Then I get to the top of the ridge. And apparently there's a couple lakes up here, which would be nice. Might stop at one. Yeah. 
back on a, a trail. <laughs> At least an ATV road, anyways. And in the woods. So, yeah. I'm going to enjoy the next however long this takes. Yep. Till then, later. I just took a break here at the top of the climb, 10,100 feet, it's uh, around 940, and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for the day. About 20 miles from here, there's a, a place called Sand Creek, oh, it's a creek called Sand Creek. It's mostly flattish rolling hills downhill to there. So, seems like a good stretch goal for the day. I'd make it around 24 miles I, I did today, which is pretty good considering it started so late. So, yeah. I think that'll be the goal. And if it's a nice ATV track like this, mostly flattish downhill, should be easy enough. That would be a good, uh, good productive day. Yeah. So, it's beautiful up here. I'm going to enjoy this mountain air as much as I can. All right, later. All right. A big clearing I'm going through. Oh, an actual trail. It's nice. Looks like a storm is coming. It's supposed to rain from like 2 to 4. But I was down in the town, so I might start a little bit earlier up here. It's okay. Give me time to dry off, right? That's my thought process anyways. Um, about nine miles into my day today. Maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna keep on walking though. A trail like this is a little bit slower than like a road because sometimes it's windy and all that stuff so it's not as direct as you would want it to be. But so it's nice. But, uh, there's a lot of evidence of cows everywhere. Yeah. Even though I haven't really seen any. So. Yeah. As I keep on moving along. Right there. Alright. So I'm up in the cloud. But I'm, uh, on an actual, well, dirt track now. Road. Dirt road. Of the trail that I was on. It was raining for a bit, but maybe I'm above the rain now. I'm just in the cloud. <laughs> or maybe uh, this will end soon. But yeah. So I don't want to take too much of this, so it might be a while before I take a video again. And it's not like I can see more than 100 feet. So yeah. Surprising amount of moisture in western uh, Utah, that's for sure. Southwestern Utah. Yeah. As I keep on moving along, right there. Alright, so supposedly I'm on the trail right now. At least I'm following the red line. But, don't really see where the trail is actually supposed to be. Maybe this is a little bit of it? It's supposed to be a Jeep road, but who knows. But I'll just follow the red line through the the green mist, right? Yeah, later. <laughs> Slows me down when I don't really know where I'm going. Yep. All right. So I found the trail again. It's actually called the, the Great Western Trail, I guess. It's pretty faint. Uh, I don't know the last time it's been uh, 
maintained or anything like that. So yeah. But it's here. Just had to find it again. And I keep on going through it. It does slow me down trying to make sure I'm still on the right trail and all that stuff. So yeah. But it's still raining, but it looks like it's clearing up a little bit. Maybe in the next half hour or so. Who knows? But it's keeping the temperature down. Actually, by a lot. I'm actually wearing my jacket right now. So, yeah. Did I keep on moving through right there. All right. More cows. There's been a lot of them. At least I can see the evidence of them everywhere. So, pretty much ever since I've uh, got off the road, yeah, it's all this, all of this is pasture land. So, which uh, makes the abundant water less abundant. That's for sure, because a lot of it is uh been catalyzed as in not fit to drink or not even try to get to I found I found some good well it looks like good uh, creeks and all that stuff but yeah anything you want to drink around here you better at least put iodine filter it because yeah, of all the cows Uh, the trail has gotten better, as in like it's an actual trail, or clearly marked anyways. So, I think uh, I'm going a little bit faster now. I'm about, say about 18 miles in for the day. And it's around 540. So I'll probably get, I'm hoping to get another six done, but that might be too much to ask for, maybe five, before it gets too dark. And I do plan on hiking till dark tonight, because uh, trying to make up for starting, well, Starting uh, not so early that this morning. I didn't start hiking really till like 7.20, 7.25, so yeah. Just reality. And I'm still trying to be as efficient as possible with my days. So tomorrow should be getting up decently early. Yeah. I gotta figure out where this trail went. All right, later. All right, so I think I found a spot to tent. Because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of vegetation around, so it's not that uh, conducive for tenting. So, around here, anyways. Actually, I think that's a little bit better over here. But yeah. Uh, end of day 188. Got about. 22 and a half miles in, so it's, it's good for starting so late, and uh, yeah, I could tent with some light still. Yeah, I, I, the reason I'm stopping here is I just don't know if there's going to, how, how much tenting uh, area is actually going to be, so yeah. Yep, so that's the uh, end of today, yeah to sleep and then uh, start early to again tomorrow yeah because tomorrow is supposed to be all clear nice good day to hike yeah. see you guys later